Hey guys, Shannon here, and today I'm going to teach you how to simulate depth of field using After Effects. This is a great effect to use if you don't have a camera that you can manually focus, or if you're a cinematographer and you thought, hey, that shot would be great with a pull focus. So, let's get started. All right guys, we are in After Effects, and I'm going to teach you how to simulate depth of field. So a production tip, make sure you're using a tripod for this effect because again, you don't want to have to set so many keyframes for masking and it becomes a little bit messy and it's just better when you have a tripod set up with a static stable shot. Now, as you can see, I have two guitars that are within a good distance from each other and this is what you will need to do to create a pull focus. So I already have my footage in here and I set up my composition. In order to do that, you just go to composition new comp, name your comp, put in your aspect ratio, and set your duration. And I already have completed that for mine. I have my guitar footage here, and you could put in whatever footage you want. And I dragged it down into my composition. Now we need to duplicate this footage in order to create two masks. So we are going to highlight our footage by clicking, and we're going to hit Control D or Command D on a Mac. Now this just created a duplicate of our footage. Nothing's really changed here. So in order to simulate depth of field, we're going to need to mask out our two guitars first. So we're going to mask out our first guitar, which is the acoustic guitar on mine. And we're going to highlight that first footage clip. And we're going to go to the pen tool. And now I'm going to mask out this guitar. So make sure you know, it's pretty close. I see this nice line here that I'm going to follow. So I'm just going to mask that out really quick. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we can fix the feathering and the expansion on the masks. But try to make it as close as you can. You don't have to be too picky about it. And complete your mask. Now we are going to do the same thing for the electric guitar. So highlight your second clip. And we're going to do the same thing. We already have our pen tool selected. So since we want, we just don't want to mask out the, the object. We want to have the background in it as well. So we are just going to mask out that until we get to this separation point between the two objects. And then I'm going to just follow this line of this guitar up. All right, so now we're going to get into actually playing with some blurs. So we're going to come to our effects and presets panel. And if you don't have this on your pane, then you could just go to window and effects and presets should be highlighted. So we're going to type in fast blur. And I really like the fast blur effect. I use it a lot. So we're going to add a fast blur to both of these. So fast blur to the first clip and fast blur to the second clip and the effect controls are shown to the left. Now we're going to go back to our first clip. So I want my first guitar, the acoustic guitar, to be in full focus with the electric guitar blurred. Then I want the electric guitar to come into focus and the acoustic guitar to blur. So let's highlight the electric guitar and we're going to set the blur to about 10. That looks very nice. And then we're going to also expand that a little more. We're going to feather that a little more. Just so it doesn't look too cut and clean. That looks pretty good. And now we're going to set a keyframe. So we set a keyframe for our second clip. And at about two seconds, I want it to go to zero. So right here where our current time indicator is at two seconds, the electric guitar becomes in full focus and now I want the acoustic guitar to blur and be out of focus. So at this point, I'm going to highlight our first object, which we have here, and we're going to set the blur to about 10. And then we're going to set a keyframe right at two seconds. Then we're gonna go back to the beginning and set a keyframe to zero. So as you can see, I'll play it right now through. Look at that. As we play through, the acoustic guitar slowly becomes out of focus as we pull focus onto the electric guitar. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go in here and just fix the mask a little bit by hitting MM on your keyboard on the selected clip. Each other maybe expand it 
four pixels in the back. Now if we scrub through, that looks great. So this is a cool effect to use if you just forgot to focus your shot like this or if you don't have a camera that manually focuses and you really want some depth in, in your film or in your video. So this is a great effect to use. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Feel free to check out more of my work on the links listed below in the description or to just contact me. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.